as you know, Bruce is going to have one of your favorite stars for him today. And we will not disappoint today, today, today. Thursday, feeling good, feeling great. Live from Media Campus West. Shout out to the game, my brother Potty Ali. Oh, man, you know we broadcasting live in Michigan, Indiana. And, of course, we are out here. Well, according to the song, not Atlanta. <laughs> but we in Atlanta <laughs> at Media Campus West. We are live on Reese Radio. Got a very special guest with me today. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and introduce this lady to the world. Not just the city, baby. The world, Craig. We got Miss Storm in the building. What's up, buddy? Hey, what's happening, Reese? <laughs> Nothing much. You got. You have a long list of accomplishments. God is good. All the time. All the time. All the time. Amen. <laughs> no, no thoughts. I've, I've, I've been working. I've been working. Got to get praises. Praises due. You know. Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So what we like to do here is give people their flowers while they can smell them, you know what I'm saying? Give them their diamonds while they can right. shine them and rock them, you know what I'm saying? So let's, <laughs> let's read off some of these accomplishments oh on your goodness. biggest intro ever. You ready for that? I'm ready. For the last few years, not 10, it's been, you know, you've been doing your thing. You've been featured or have worked with people like Lil Wayne, Crime Mob, Jay Holiday, Lil Kim, Trina, Bootsy Collins. The king. The legend. You know, Ohio. The legend. Shout out to Ohio. <laughs> hey, Sue, <laughs> Jennifer Hudson, Keisha Cole, Bone Thugs and Harmony, Day 26. Ooh. Come on, the list goes it on. It goes Shana, on. Look, you forgot. I forgot everybody. half of them myself. Everybody. <laughs> everybody. You've been in multiple films. Yes. Your music has been featured in over 50 credits. You've been in all types of uh, <laughs> things to help people move their products along. That's right. Including Subway. That's right. Phipps Plaza. That's right. So we know the publishing <laughs> checks are crazy. <laughs> And she's worked with all types of legendary people. Some we're not even going to talk about. Them. Right. We just right. going to keep it sticking to you because you have dropped a solo project for Black History Month. Yes. And I see you with your Black Girl Magic right here. Y'all yeah. welcome Miss Storm to the reshow. Live. <laughs> I see you using this hype button a lot. Today. So we're going to keep it right keep here. Keep it close. We're going to keep it close. <laughs> all right. So you dropped this thing. But let's talk a little bit about your history first because you're not new to this. No. You're not new to this. You've been doing this. Uh, you kind of transitioned to more right. of the R&B world. Uh, what was that transition like? for you when did you when did you start to make that that shift i gonna be honest with you while i was going to church and while i was singing with all these gospel yeah. legends i was listening to cocktails <laughs> too short ugk you uh you know you what i'm saying i was listening to snoop dogg and dog dr right. dre you know in my you know in my spare time with yeah. my, i had with the ray you know the headphones yeah, yeah, on. that's headphones. when we had the walkman right. you remember the walkman yeah, remember yeah. That. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know what that's called that's called balance okay? balance you, you exactly I mean? that's what i curse a little bit I, just a tad now don't let me don't right. let me you know don't push me right so so let's talk about that because you you've been really behind the scenes as far as a billboard chart and song right right you contributed to other people's success. Absolutely. How does that uh, come across for you when you look back and look at your work? If you do that and even see some of your credits, you're like, wow, I really, you know, pop some people off. I'm going to blow your mind. So <clears throat> earlier around 2008, 2009, I was diagnosed with something called meningenoma. What meningenoma is, is it's a growth on the meningenoma of your brain that functions your memory, your facial expressions, and your hand movements. Mm -hmm. And a good thing and a bad thing. The good thing is, I can't remember shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't remember the bad things, and it's, unfortunately, I don't remember all the good things. Okay. So, to get to back to your question, right. I have to be reminded, honestly, all yeah. in all honesty, of all the stuff I've done. I've been writing for people... For so long, mm -hmm. half the stuff I be like, I listen to something or they come on the radio, and I'm like, man, this is a hit. This yeah. sound like something I write. And, and my producer or my right editor be like, you know, you wrote that. Yeah. I'm like, damn, I knew I. That sounds so familiar. <laughs> and, and and it's so funny, people. You know, I don't really tell people that because I see people, I meet people, a lot of people behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. Typically, when I'm writing for other artists, there's more than one writer. Right, you know, right, if right, someone right. contributes a ooh or a all, put their name in yeah. the credits. Yeah, you I get what I'm saying? The Grammys, like somebody got. A Grammy and the guy for a or oh yeah oh yeah. oh yeah I would go into detail about records that I do remember <laughs> uh -huh. that I was in the room and I'm like look at all these motherfuckers that got it all on the credits you know everybody's <laughs> splitting this money up it should be split this many ways but right. that's just how it goes get back to your question I am very proud of myself I'm learning to be proud of myself mm -hmm. but because of my condition it is sometimes hard for me to reflect on my accolades and being jolly and all happy because I forget. So I'm always working. I'm always trying to, I'm always working. I'm working on three major artists right now project to where when you hear it, you ain't going to believe I wrote it because there's nothing I'm gonna I believe it because I know it's going on. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's nothing I would say. You'd be like, I mean, if some of the stuff I write be totally left, but totally you know, too, other than what so I do. Let's artist. talk about that because I know a lot of writers and they have oh, to go yeah. to a different bag, have a different to. person, have different book to. bag. Different personality all together. Right. Different clothes, different hat. How many Miss Storms are inside <laughs> you right now? Honestly, I'll say it probably about seven. <laughs> you know, that's what you want on the record. That's yeah. what you go get. I'll bring it. You know, I write for a lot of guys. Yeah. Surprise. I, I write for a lot of guys. Right. And, um, yeah, you know, it's about seven of us. That's you know. crazy. But we all love Jesus. There, there you go. The <laughs> we all love Jesus. <laughs> I like it, man. So, man, so that, that's amazing for you to yeah. that, be dealing with that, too, on a daily basis. But yeah. you also... Yeah, you're also persevering and fighting through. Absolutely, right, absolutely. Right. You know, and it's important because with this, and I, I don't, I've never met anyone else who, you know, currently has this condition. It's a very rare condition. I mean, it, people get misdiagnosed for like sinuses or all type of different things. Mm -hmm. I was misdiagnosed for five years before they actually found out that it's meningenoma. Wow. You know, um, because it's, it's symptoms can be a lot of, you know, uh, similar to other conditions. Yeah. But, you know, I live life every day to the fullest. I love on people hard, you know, and that's important to me because once I realize that eventually I might lose my entire sight, I might lose my memory or just, you know, control of things that are important in my career, uh -huh. you know, it makes me go harder. It makes me, you know, share as much as I can, as often as I can. And I just love on people. I live life. I love life. It's yeah. special. You got to cherish it because you never know things that you get material things can be taken from you yeah. you know physical things that you don't take for you take for granted every day could be yeah. taken from you you know so yeah that, you know how beautiful that is here like it's so much beauty inside of everything you just said thank you like you know what i'm just gonna live i'm not gonna let this be the best at all i'm gonna be at the all. Best of me. At when all. i first got diagnosed they tried to put me in a group <laughs> like a um uh what do they call it? Like, like a support group. A support group. Yeah. A support group. Yeah. And I went. I went for the first couple of weeks. And boy, when I tell you, it was people in this group who look just like you and me, yeah. who are beautiful. I mean, drop dead, gorgeous, beautiful women and handsome men that are going through real live stuff that I, diseases that I've never heard of yeah. before. Like so many different things we battle inside that you just can't never judge a book by its cover. But right. you know, I went to that group and it's a, being around these other people really forced me to say. I'm not going to let this make me handicapped. I'm not going to mm -hmm. let this put me in a state of depression to where I feel like I'm not adequate anymore or life is over, you yeah, know, yeah. what's well, me. You know, I, I I took from them support groups that it could be worse. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's people who are going through way worse stuff than I'm going through, and I'm sitting here complaining about this, this, and that. You know, so, yeah, I have a whole different outlook on life. That's I do. It. We I can do. hear it. We appreciate you sharing, especially <laughs> our audience, because you never know what somebody's going through. You never know. And now they're hearing something. There's a successful woman, a, a woman that's just vibrating on such a high level. Thank you're dealing you. with something on the other that we wouldn't know. You right. know what I mean? So thank right. you for being uh, open with that and sharing. You, I told you, you make me so comfortable here. I was so comfortable up in here. I'm just like, I'm just going to tell him everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the new, the now. Yes. What you got yes. going on. Black History Ooh, my God. Project. Like, let's talk about this. When I tell you I'm so excited about mm -hmm. this project, I have done some amazing things in my career, but nothing has gotten me this excited because I'm passionate yeah. about us. I'm passionate about our people, our culture, and speaking on it in a positive way, putting yeah. us, putting us black women in a positive light. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with any other way any other artist is portraying themselves right exactly right. but i'm doing it my way and yeah. i have a particular way that i want to portray this category of woman and yes. i'm doing it and i'm happy and i'm excited and this <laughs> next project this next single i'm working on right now when i tell you i'm about to blow everybody's mind that's all i can say okay. i'm so excited i'm so <laughs> i can we're barely keep i'm so excited, excited oh my god too. so I like that. You're talking about a time where we're whitewashing a lot of things. They're covering up a lot of historical moments for black people. They've been you doing it I mean? for right. years. And it's crazy that we're just learning about things like what happened in Tulsa before mm. the bombings, before Absolutely. the riot. We had a whole city that was popping and making millions. Here, millions. even here in Georgia, we yeah. had one. Yeah. You know that they, uh, Lake Lanier, that they yeah. covered up in they Lake Lanier. Yeah. You know, and I just encourage <clears throat> our younger generation to go and do your research on who we are, and yeah. don't just fall into the, you know, the plot of what they show you on, you know, 
on the networks or how they portray us because we have such a rich heritage. Our lineage is so powerful and it's just, you got the Google, you got the internet. There's nothing stopping you from going to do your research on who right. we are and that's just what I encourage, you know. Yeah. And that's I what it. I talk about. And we, we, we pick up so many things through music that's oh, yeah. awesome that you're putting out this project. Mm -hmm. So what what's going to be on this project? Because I know we got quicksand. Yeah. But what else is going to be on this project? Oh my God, my follow-up single is called Are You In? Mm -hmm. It's a double entendre. It's called Run. Okay. But but it's R U N. And baby. Mm. <laughs> I mean, that's I say. I'm big on visuals. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I'm big on visuals. I think that they tie the story together, especially for the general public, you know, the audience, yeah. so they can really see what I'm saying. And the visuals and the song from the production, from the A to Z, is just so powerful. I just. I'm just so excited. I'm I'm, <laughs> like, I'm trying to keep still. I'm so excited. She's not I'm doing so a good excited. job keeping still. And that's a good thing. I can feel the excitement. I'm so excited. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a piggybacking off of quicksand. Um, I'm talking about relevant issues that we face as African Americans in America. Um, the young black men and to the young black women that, you know, suffer from different police brutalities or and black on black crime. Mm -hmm. Not just police brutality, but our own people hurting and hindering our future and our elevation. So I talk about a lot of that because that's what I see. Mm -hmm. I'm a mother. You know, I have teenagers. I witness what they're going through, what their conversation piece is. Yeah. And I just want to, you know, balance things out. You know, right. I just want to balance things out. It's so much more to be said, you know? It is. You know? It definitely is. So what on the next horizon after this project drop? You got yeah, you know, I'm just trying to, yet. you know, establish myself as an artist and get the respect that I have as an artist that I have as a songwriter. Yeah, you know, I, yeah. I, I I don't know if you've watched the Kanye West documentary. Not yet. Oh, Not my yet. God. It's yeah. so phenomenal. I'm a diehard Kanye West fan. Okay. Oh, Kanye. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but College anyway. Dropout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You. <laughs> but, you know, I, I relate to his story so near and dear because he's a phenomenal producer mm -hmm. and that's what everyone sees him as right. or seeing him as as a phenomenal producer and kind of like you know well he's an artist yeah he right. whatever and that's how it's been for me you know mm -hmm. I've had legends tell me girl your penmanship is you know it's undeniable right. you know I've right. never had anyone ever tell me my penmanship was whack right. but I've had people tell me oh you're not ready to be an artist yet oh you need to be around more hip hop mm -hmm. artists oh you need to sing a little longer yeah. you know but you can take so you telling me I can write for your artist but I can't be say the, myself right. what I just wrote for your artist right. you know so you know it's I'm tough. trying to it, it has been mm -hmm. you know and I just used to, I came out you know after making this money from writing and right. publishing you know I said you know what I'm going to start investing thing into what I want to do and problem. give it a shot. You know? that's, that's, <laughs> that's right. You know what? You have a call and then you've been able to have those seven people inside you come out and be, you know, be what the other people need. Right. Now it's time Absolutely. for you to shine. You know? We appreciate that you're doing it and doing projects that are near and dear. You're talking Absolutely. about black history. You're talking about what you want to talk about. That's right. I know that has to be kind of like elevated for you too. It is. It yeah, is. And I just feel like I'm doing my due diligence. I feel like I'm doing my you know, my good deed mm -hmm. before I leave this place, I'm leaving my footprint and I'm leaving it in a positive manner. At least I'm trying to yeah. leave it in a positive manner because perspective is, yeah. you know, perspective some people might deep. not think what I'm doing is positive. My yeah. intentions are positive, positive. Yeah. you know, so. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's all about intent. We and appreciate exactly. you coming up here. What we're going to do right now, we're going to play this quick sample. <laughs> hey. uh, tapped in on the live stream. We appreciate y'all. Thanks for tuning in. You can click the link and it'll take you directly to Miss Storm's quick sample video, the official video on YouTube. And you can check it out right now for the those on Reese Radio, y'all stay tuned and enjoy. It is right here.